I think it's time to get away for a bit and see if we can find some treasures. What do you think? Hello and welcome to Minecraft School. My name is JD and I will be your teacher. Today we are going to be exploring and our objectives are number one, craft a cartography table. Two, create a map and explore the area. Number three, search for treasures if there are any. And four, locate a future base site. That is if we find a, a good place to go. To start things off, we're going to be making a cartography table. It's very simple, just need four planks and two pieces of paper like that. And there we go. And uh, we're gonna need some paper as well, but let's find a place to put this table. I think we can probably put it down here. Maybe a good place. Uh, this is the interface here. Now if we put a piece of paper in there, well, nothing happens, see? Oh, there we go. We got a piece of paper, but nothing, nothing there. Why? Because we haven't made a map yet. So we're gonna come up here. We're gonna make a bunch of paper. That's quite a lot. And we wanna make a map, but, oh, we're missing something. What could that be? That would happen to be a compass. So first of all, let's make that compass. You need redstone dust and four iron ingots. Now this will show you the direction to spawn. So you can see spawn is in that direction. It's actually not very far. Um, it's beyond those trees and it should be on the other side of the water, or just right over there. So we're gonna make a locator map. Now that means we need eight paper like this and a compass in the middle. So this is our first map. So we can actually look at it. And this shows us this area. I don't want it to be this small though. I want to expand it. Now we can expand it using this. So put this in here and another piece of paper. And there we go. So now this map shows us this area but I want to make it even bigger. Let's zoom out again like this. Let's take a look. Okay, but that's not all. We're going out even farther. Okay, so this is at scale level three of four. Looking good. Uh, you can see where we are and which direction we're pointing at, but I want even bigger. I want it zoomed out all the way because I want to explore this entire area. And there we go. So we're going to end up traveling a lot in that direction and that direction. Interesting. So the ice spikes are not going to be on this map, but that's fine. We'll visit the ice spikes another time. So I want to get a bit of wool. Just shave these guys. Well, not shave them, shear them. <laughs> I get as much as we can. Uh, that's fine. Uh, is that everyone? No, you. You. I want your wool, too. There we go. And someone just grew some wool. Yeah. So what we're going to be doing with this is we're going to be making a banner. So let's make the banner. Uh, it's very simple. Just one stick and you need six wool. I'm just making a white banner here. But I would like to come over here go to our anvil and we're going to rename this it's right there okay so we're going to call this uh let's say well starter base as this is our starter base and there we go uh, i'm going to place this uh where you know i could probably place this inside the house i think a great maybe right here Take the map and click on it. And let's take a look. Should be on there, but uh, let's try that again. There we go. <laughs> I have to click on the right spot. So you can see on the map that we have a starter base right there. And one more thing to make, I promise you. This is the last thing we're making. We're going to be making a boat. Now in Bedrock Edition, you also need to have a wooden oar in here. It's a different recipe. I'm not sure why. 
Uh, also, Cartography Table has extra uses in Bedrock Edition. I do have a video all about the Cartography Table, specifically for Bedrock Edition in the uh, cards in the top right hand corner. So we are about to set out. Now I think we should probably try to go to a corner. Now one thing to do is put this in your offhand. That'll allow you to see it while also holding anything else. Uh, let me grab this and what I want to do is, let's just see, looking at this, let's start off by going uh, that direction. Uh, I'd like to see, I think, actually, I think that spawn may be on here, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to head off in this direction. And as you will see, the map will start to fill out. So let's see. Yeah, you can see it expanding right now. So I want to go to the corner of this map. Let me put the oak boat down. I'm not sure why I call it an oak boat. Get in, you right click, and you just steer. The Just move the same way you would while walking. Uh, actually, no. Uh, you don't use your mouse at all. You can use your mouse to look around. So just keep going and try to get to the corner there. We're almost there. And welcome back to our spawn area. It's pretty nice that we're back here. It's not very far. Uh, so we've got the house just off beyond render distance. So I'd like to start off by going that way. And oh, we have ice. So we might have to go around it. Um, yeah, I think we're going to go around this way. So I'm just going to continue going off in that direction, which is south, by the way. And we'll fill in this map. If I need to, I'll have to go into the ice icebergs. So it appears we are going into the ice bikes. To get out of the boat, press shift. And then the easiest way to break it is to use an axe. So we're going to continue on this way on foot. And let's see where's the sun. Still way above, so that's fine. Uh... And there's going to be a bit of water here, too. But uh, ice spikes are amazing. You'll see these giant spires of ice. And one of the fun things to do is to actually build something inside. They're, they're wide enough so that you can build something like uh, an elevator or, I guess, a ladder going up to there. And using that to build something. A very interesting thing to do. And here is something rare. It's an igloo. Oh, we found an igloo. This is amazing. Uh, let me just see. This one is floating up here, but ah, uh, unfortunately, uh, it's not. It's not one of the igloos that uh, you can find. Any? Uh, well, there's uh, usually a villager, a zombie villager down there, but this one doesn't have one, unfortunately. This ice spikes biome is huge. I, I I just walked through a forest and here's the other side of the ice spikes. Wow, this is amazing. We're almost at the southeast corner and I slept the night away. Uh, just uh, make sure you remember that if you die after breaking this bed, you will return to spawn. And, um, oh, looks like we've encountered an ocean. Oh, wow, this may be the edge, but um, there is something very, very interesting. This ice spikes biome continues way over there, and look at the size of them. This is incredible. Hold on. Oh, I think that's just dirt. I thought I saw a village in there. But yeah, I'm just going to head over the water, and we're going to turn around. So we're at the southeast corner, and what have we found? Look at this. Okay, this is not the safest thing to do right now. Um, I'm actually not very confident about going down here because drowned spawn. And there we go. There we go. They're there. They're there. Okay. We will likely die. Uh, I would prefer to go after those things. Uh, there are treasure chests down there. I'd prefer to do it 
when I have some good armor and some good enchantments on the armor, especially respiration and aqua affinity on my helmet. Uh, so we're just going to head off this way. And it looks like more ice. This is a very icy... Wow. Okay. Um, sometimes I just have to look at the, the terrain and just I'm amazed. But we're going to try and fill this entire map. And wow. Just wow. I just want to briefly talk about what we encountered back there. Uh, those are underwater ruins. And in each one there should be a single chest with uh, different kinds of treasures. And there is a village. Oh! Oh, this is neat. We got a village in Ice Spikes biome. That's not common. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> oh, we're, we're getting a lot of surprises. Um, let's see what, we, what we've got in here. Probably not much. I don't think we'll find very many things, but wow, this is this is actually quite remarkable. What are you? And what do you have? Oh, you're a you're a mason. Hello. Oh, you have no trades because you're you're not a mason. Um yeah, so what we saw underwater was also drowned. And they are basically wet. I call them soggy zombies, but they're, uh, they're zombies that are from underwater. Oh, look at this. We got, we don't need that. We really don't need that. Uh, they are, as I said, underwater zombies, and they tend to spawn around the underwater ruins in, uh, in Java edition. This is a tiny village, unless there's more up there. Um, but in Bedrock Edition, they spawn everywhere that there's water. Absolutely everywhere. Oh my god, what the... Okay, this is nuts. Wow. We'll probably see that on the way back. Those are just absolutely incredible. What is going on? There's lava there, too. Oh, and what have we found? Look at this. It's a ruined portal. Uh, these should have a chest. There we go. And we've got more obsidian. That's good. Flint, sure. Protection 1 and Protection 2. I like this helmet better. Uh, we could probably use that when we're in the nether. And, oh, it's fully enchant... Uh, fully... It's got full durability, I should say. Uh, yeah, so these you can rebuild. This is Crying Obsidian, which you cannot use to make any kind of, uh, hold on, hold on. There's usually, usually there's gold. I don't see any. Oh, well. But there should be some other things around here. There could be gold. Um, it's a possibility. But it doesn't look like this one has any gold. Hmm. Okay. So you can rebuild these if you want. Not necessary. But it is interesting to find these as they do have treasure. Here's our neighboring village. We're going to get that on the map. But I don't think it will appear very well on this totally zoomed out map. Uh, you can make uh, larger maps with zoomed-in maps as well. I love making map walls, which I will touch touch on on a later video, definitely. So we made our way back to our librarian's village, and I think what I'm going to do is put another marker down here. Uh, there's our librarian down in there. So let's put this down here. We've got this and let's do it and then we find weird stuff like this oh we found another one let's see what we've got here uh, i don't think i need that fire charge that's nice 
I'll leave that. But look at this. Let's grab that. It appears we've found a second igloo. I don't think I've ever found two igloos in a sea this close together before. Let's check this out. See if this one actually has a basement. Should be amazing. The basement should be under one of these, and it appears not. Here's a question as we approach this incredible terrain. In the comment section below, really quick, let me know what your favorite biome is and why. Well, there's something interesting right over there, but it's uh, maybe just slightly off the map. Let's go take a look. If that's what I think it is, it's an underwater ruin above the water. It's not just one, it's two. I swear, this is a random seed. This is incredible. I can't believe we've <laughs> our luck in finding this. So there should be a couple of, well, very well exposed chests. This is amazing. What have we got in here? Oh, a little delay there. Uh, so we got coal, we got rotten flesh, I don't care, stone axe, don't care, and buried treasure map. Oh, that is nice. Let's see what we've got here. That's a little bit inside, so let's see. Unbreaking three fishing rod. Oh, I'll take that. We got some wheat. Um, it's okay. I'm, I'm just going to leave the uh, other things. But that, that's amazing. This is, this is actually a really beautiful seed. I'm, I'm so surprised. Oh, this is a beautiful area. Look at the mountains. Amazing. So I think it's time for the pop quiz. And number one, uh, do you use a compass to find your way? And number two, how do you like to use maps? So let me know in the comment section below. If you're not sure which biome you're in, click on F3 and you can look on the left side. Uh, it should say biome. This one is plains. Sometimes we get to see some crazy landscapes like this. But anyways, I think we should take a look at our comment of the video. And this is from Bruh. Your most, your most uh, videos really help new Minecrafters like me. Keep up the good work and subbed. Well, thank you very much. And uh, that's the reason why I'm doing this. I want to help newer Minecrafters play uh, in Season 1. That's what we're doing. We're doing mostly basic game. And when we move on to Season 2, we're going to go into a bit more advanced stuff. But that is mainly why I do a lot of tutorials. I want to help newer players. But thank you for that comment. Believe it or not, another igloo. Uh, well, this this is obviously not one that's going to help us out. This is odd. This is the third igloo, and it's also broken. It has no basement. Ah, huh. uh-oh. Okay, there's a bear cub right there, a polar bear cub. We're going around. Uh, we do not want to be near it, and the sun is going down, too. This seed is telling us something. Build an ultimate survival base in the ice spikes biome. What do you think of that? You think that's a good idea? Let me know in the comment section below. Should I build the base in the ice spikes? I've never done that before. But before you tell me, really, uh, building in the ice spikes biome is a challenge. Uh, the reason for that is a lack of resources, like trees. <laughs> Don't have many building materials. Would have to use a lot of zombie. Uh, a lot of uh, things like stone instead. But there are other areas we can look around. Because I like the plains over there. It looks quite nice. Plains are a lot easier. And there are a lot of different kinds of forests around. Plus the mountains. And mountains are great for mining emeralds. And then there are massive overhangs like this, which tell me to build a mountain base. Oh, these are crazy. Uh, but they're a bit dangerous because it's dark and we could have mobs in here. But at least it looks like we do. Um, oh, hold on. Is this... 
Okay, it's stone. I was thinking maybe it was a gravel mountain, but it's not. Okay, so uh, this area has a lot of mobs, and that is the issue with that. So keep that in mind. I didn't realize that that was completely floating. There's no support. Looks like we found another portal. This one... Oh, interesting. It has two. Two blocks of gold. Oh, does <laughs> That sound is uh, snow breaking. I thought something was uh, walking towards us. So uh, I'm going to grab the gold. If I can, I can't reach that one. I'm gonna grab this one. Easy. And check in here. Oh we, oh, we got a bell. That's nice. Got more fire charges. Let's grab those. I don't think we need another flint and steel. Silk touch pickaxe. Yes, we're bringing that. No, we're, we don't need that. But that's incredible. Silk touch pickaxe. Um, I'm not too desperate for gold. Uh, I don't think we need it. <laughs> Here's something I rarely ever see. Arctic foxes. Usually you have the orange foxes or red foxes. These ones are white. Wow. And what do we find? Another village. Let's go see what this one has. It almost looks like this one could have a natural quarry. Kind of unusual. I'd be very interested in knowing if this village has a villager. Well, I mean, not a villager, a librarian. But, uh, what's this? This looks like a fairly big house. This one, oh, it's a leather worker. And we got a few things. A saddle. I will take the saddle. Uh, I'll leave the leather because uh, we don't need that, but the saddle is absolutely amazing to have. Um, the reason is we can use it. Oh, <laughs> I just saw another house here, but this is crazy. Um, we can use it to um, <laughs> ride a horse. Uh, this is this is a blacksmith actually. Uh, with this, it's a uh, weaponsmith. And look at that! Look at all that! Even another saddle, two iron pickaxes. You know what? I'm gonna trade this one out. There we go. Beautiful. Actually, I kind of want to return to this village another time. That'll be great. And oh, we do have a librarian. Hello. What do you have? Frostwalker. Interesting, but expensive. Okay. Um, hold on. We have eight wool left and three sticks. So we're going to mark off this village. And we've encountered something else here. <laughs> it's an outpost. This is something I do not want to tackle right now. I would get killed. Uh, but we need to go around them right now. The pillagers are too strong. You remember what happened. I died. Uh, so, yeah, um, they do have some treasure in there, uh, up there. They do have crossbows and things like that. But, uh, yeah, um, they're also a good source of emeralds as well as Totems of Undying. Now, that I don't have. I, I can't show it to you, but I am not going to go in there. Why would you believe it? Another village. And lots of cats. That village wasn't very impressive. I had a toolsmith, but not so much else. It's our fourth igloo, and this one has a basement. Ah, look at that. But how the heck do we get inside? Uh, probably on this side. Ah, okay, we can get in. Good. So we have a basement in here. Now let's go take a look. We're not really going to do anything down here, but I would. I just want to show you what you can find in the basement of an igloo. All right, so on the left, this is a villager. On the right, a zombie villager. You are given everything you need 
to turn that guy. Oh, there's the golden apple. I'll take these. Uh, but uh, there is a golden apple in here, which means... Uh, oh, and this is... Uh, whoops. Um, hello. That's a silver fish. There's another silver fish. Oh, oh, oh. This... These guys are break... <sighs> okay. Uh, these guys um, are infesting a lot of this stone, so they will appear like that if you break one of these. Uh, but, um, yeah, this right here is a splash potion of weakness. What you do is you throw a splash potion of weakness on this guy, give him the golden apple, and he'll be healed, turning into a villager. We're going to come back here. I'm going to place... Oh, I don't have another... I don't have another banner, unfortunately. Ah. Uh, and that's another on second thought. There's some sheep. I don't have shears on me, but we can make a banner. And here we go. Let's link it. There we go. So that's on the map now. And this is going to be easier to find. Uh, I should also close this. Uh, so when I... I don't need that either. There you go. So when I put the uh, the map up in the base, I'm going to be... Well, it'll be there for you to collect if you can download this world on uh, episode 15. So let's get back. We're almost done the map. I think we just need to come down one more time. Something I wish these zoomed out maps would do is differentiate between tundra, uh, the snowy taiga, and the ice spikes. But it doesn't. They're very... what the heck? <laughs> okay, that's just interesting. All that uh, sugarcane was there. Uh, and another village. Yeah, there's a lot of villages. But yeah, um, as you can see, it all looks white. But if you have a zoomed in map, it should show everything, like the trees and the ice spikes themselves. So let's see what this place has. I think I like this one. Oh, we got emeralds. Uh, but we can give up something here. I don't think I need the flint. And eh, maybe. Actually, I don't need the sugar cane. But I'll definitely take the emeralds. Here's a tip. While you're walking in the tundra, please note that uh, there are little overhangs of snow. You can fall straight through it. Uh, if it happens to be by lava, you're going to fall in the lava. So make sure that you're watching where you're going. And that is the third outpost I have seen. This uh, southwestern corner is not the safest area, is it? And yet another igloo. Number five. Does this one have a basement? It doesn't. Okay. Well, that's fine. But um, look at where we're at. We are actually almost right at the end. So this will be the southwest corner of the map. And we're pretty much done. So it, not the entire map is filled in. Uh, there, there's some gaps in there, but let's take a look at it close up. As you can see the gaps, uh, our starter base is quite far away. And there's uh, two villages, well, our, uh, the one near our base and the one we need to check out again. And, of course, the igloo we have to come back to. Now, the, the green area at the bottom, especially the bottom right, that is a plains area, and there's some amazing mountains around there. I'm considering that for a base, or the uh, ultimate survival base. But let me know where you think I should build my survival base. Do you think I should do it in down in that area, or should I try one in the ice spikes? Uh, keep in mind that this is a series designed to help people learn to play. So yeah, just keep that in mind. 
you know, if I didn't have this map, it would be difficult for me to find my way back because it's all snow everywhere. It's, uh, it's a good idea to have a locator map. You can uh, see exactly where you are, what direction you're going, and we know that our base is just right over here. That's going to feel so good to see it. I'm actually very tired of looking at snow. And we're home just in time for sunset. Oh, I've missed this place. So let's look at what we got. We got two blocks of gold. Unbreaking fishing rod, which is nice. Paper, a bell, silk touch, golden pickaxe. Two buried treasure maps, which we're going to have to look at. Emerald, three emeralds. Fire charges. Uh, we did get some coal, a saddle, iron nuggets, gold nuggets. So we also got ten iron ingots uh got some flint obsidian i did pick up a rabbit hide didn't exactly need it but yeah that's that's it oh and uh, nine wheat not bad but i need to make something first we're going to be making an item frame and with this item frame we're going to be putting up our map and where's a good place maybe by the door is okay but i think an empty space um here maybe here okay so we're gonna put the map up right here that's our map there you go you can hang it up you can take a look at it you can see around the edges i didn't get absolutely everything but uh i just wanted an idea about what's around here so we've got our starter base we have those two villages. There's another village somewhere down here, which seemed pretty good as well. And we've got that igloo, which we need to go back to. So let me know which place you think would be the best for me to build a base. And I think that is about it. Now your homework Take a screenshot of your finished map and post it on my Discord server in the homework channel. Now, if you'd like to, you can also take screenshots of the places that you discovered. That would be great. Now, if you're playing on this seed, you might have the same map. You might actually be off in a different part as well, because I know some of you went off in a different direction than I did. So I'd love to see your map as well. If you like the video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in joining Minecraft School, then please consider subscribing. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.